What's up guys, I'm BTC. There's a brand new mini event that's gonna be coming up soon in Overwatch, but how many people are actually gonna want anything to do with it? In the off chance that someone at Blizzard or the Overwatch League is watching this video, I do have some feedback and suggestions later on that you may want to take into consideration. But right out of the gate, I want to say that I'm super glad that this sort of event is finally coming to Overwatch. I've been wanting these sorts of mini events for a very long time. I think the ability for the entire player base to participate in a larger scale, full on cooperative or competitive effort where there is a goal or a progress bar or something like that is a really positive thing that you can add to the game on a fairly regular basis. And this can happen in between the major events. But anyways, let's talk about this event itself. For everyone else, the event is called Skins in the Game, and this is a way for players to show their support for their favorite Overwatch League team. So how it works is from May 27th to the 31st, every time you play a quick play or competitive match wearing a hero skin of your favorite team, you'll earn one point for that team. And you can also play along on Twitter, you just send out a tweet with a special hashtag, and then you tag the account of the team that you want to get the point for. So Soul Dynasty, Dallas Fuel, whatever it happens to be. And then they'll total all the points and announce the winning team on June 3rd. The winning team gets bragging rights and an Instagram takeover of the official Overwatch League Instagram account. Now, again, you have to play in quick play and competitive. You can't do arcade or custom matches, only those two. You have to finish the match, and it's okay for you to switch characters. So if you're playing as one character that's using a Dallas Fuel skin, and then you switch to another one that's just using whatever random legendaries, then Dallas Fuel will still get the point for that game. So you don't have to worry about locking into only just playing that one character for the whole game. And you can use either the home skins or the away skins. They both work, and it can be any hero. It doesn't have to be any specific ones. The competition is open to all players in all regions on all platforms, and if you miss it this time, then it will come back July 15th through the 21st, and if you want to check the score, see what team is winning, then you have to check on Twitter for the updates. I think that this is a great potential event, but I can already see a big problem because I know what some of the comments are going to be already, and that is, I don't watch the Overwatch League, I don't have a favorite team, I'm not gonna get anything from this. I don't care about their Instagram account, so why should I bother with it? This is the biggest problem because I think there are several goals that Blizzard and the Overwatch League are trying to do, which is one, they want to get their diehard fan base excited. Two, they want to increase the viewership of people who may not be watching the Overwatch League right now. And three, they also want to increase the following on their various social media accounts on Twitter and Instagram. But the main problem I see with this is unless you're a diehard fan of the Overwatch League already, what incentive is there for you to even bother participating in this event? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to just dunk on the event. I think it's a great idea, but if Blizzard wants honest feedback and I want the game to improve, then I need to point out the shortcomings and the flaws. And as it is now, unless you're a diehard fan, there's really no reason to participate in this event. So let's look at some improvements. First is incentive to participate. Again, diehard fans, they're going to, but the casual viewers of the Overwatch League and non-viewers of the Overwatch League aren't gonna care and they're not gonna bother to participate in this. So I think a couple of things. First, they need to have a skin. Now, I know that Blizzard gave out some tokens in the past when the leak first started up, but I think it would be a good idea to just give out 100 tokens to everyone so that they can get one skin of whatever character they want so that they can participate in this event. So just give out 100 tokens to everyone right out of the gate. Second, have some sort of incremental rewards as you progress. When you get five points, you get maybe something small, like a voice line. When you get 10 points or 25 points, you get something like a spray. And then when you get 50 points, you get something else like a victory pose or whatever it is, right? Just a little bit of progression as you're participating. Second, you need to have the progression in game. People need to see how much they are affecting the total. If you just have people going to a Twitter account to see updates that are kind of sporadically posted, that kind of distances them from actual participating. They don't feel as if they're being impactful to the overall effect of all of it. So 
what the TF2 example, which is the go-to that I use for this, the Soldier vs. Demo Man, they had two things. One, you could see your own individual progress, how many you were participating towards the total, and then you also got to see the total. So this kind of helps push along the players to say, I am participating, I am helping, and this is how much that I've been helping. So it makes you feel like you're more part of the whole thing rather than just, oh, I'm gonna go and check Twitter and maybe in a couple hours we'll see what the scores are. Lastly, I would improve the overall prize for whatever team ends up winning. I realize that you're trying to increase the follower numbers on your social media accounts. I'm a content creator, I get it. I don't begrudge you for that, okay? But you have to understand, an Instagram takeover is not really all that exciting and even the most diehard fans probably are not gonna care all that much about it. So I think something much better would be an in-game reward. It can be simple, a spray, an icon, something that commemorates the winning team of the player's choice skins in the game. And they get whatever little thing, and every single player, regardless of what team they supported, gets that thing. If you really wanted to go a little bit further, you could even take one of the base skins from the Overwatch League for that winning team, just pick a character, take their base Overwatch League skin, and then just kind of fancy it up a little bit. Like, it doesn't need to be super legendary quality or anything, but there could just be something a little extra that kind of designates it as this is the winning skin for the winning team of the Skins in the Game event. It was the player's choice. This is what we get. I think there is a ton of potential that Blizzard could do with these events, not just with the League, but with Overwatch in general. You could have Overwatch versus Talon faction events, or the Shimada versus Omnix, or Junkers versus Vishkar. You know, just whatever. Take any two groups, throw them together, come up with a reason why they need to fight, and have people pick a side and then give out some rewards. Those would be awesome! I would so much rather see stuff like that than Lucio Ball for the fourth year in a row. Just saying, Blizzard. Anyways. But what do you guys think about this event? Are you going to participate as it is now? Is the Instagram takeover something that you're actually interested in seeing? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch live stream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.